Okay, this video is going to help people who are wanting to know the Jing Well points really clearly um, and the command points. These, of course, are the points in Chinese medicine from the elbow to the fingertips, also the knees to the toes. Um, basically, this is for people to remember for exams. I mean, this becomes extremely important in big board exams and things to be extremely clear and confident in these points. Um, often, as practitioners, we can be confident in working out these points, but to have them laid out, and the idea is that you memorize this, you dump it before exam, so in the exam you refer to it, it saves your mental capacity, and you'll be more confident, and it's gonna save you time. So, let's jump into it. The first couple of phone numbers you need to know. Yes, we do need to remember some phone numbers. Eight, five, four, Five, we can put a dash here like a phone number, 547. The second phone number you need to know is 565-4141. Put that 41 down there, 3860. This will become apparent when we start to write it out. Please remember, these are not real phone numbers, these are memory cues to help you um, facilitate the process of getting this information clear in your head for you to be able to write it down easily before an exam and be confident everything is in the right place. Okay, so let's think, we'll use the whole piece of paper, I normally compress it a little, but let's say the Jing Well point. So let's start out with the basics. The Jing, Ying, Shu, Jing, and He C points, right? We can put above here the English name. It's confusing in Chinese. This is Jiang, third tone. This is Jiang, right? So, I mean, we know that these are actually different Chinese characters. Regardless, let's go. From the, the, the well point, it goes to the spring point, which goes to the stream, eventually to the river, and to the sea. And let's put in the um, Qi Wu Xiang, the five phases, you know, part of this. We're going to write the yin organs first, so we know that the first one is wood, and I'm assuming we know this order. Remember, spring, summer, fire, right? So let's write these out. Metal, we know in our head that the five phases for the yin channels start in wood and finish in water. I recommend um, writing this out and drawing the lines yourself. Get used to that. I mean, in the exam, I mean, it's always nice to have a grid, right, and just fill in numbers. But in the exam, you're not going to have that, right? You're just going to have some blank pieces of paper. So get used to it. And it kind of helps you. The pattern of it also helps you. You know, we're into patterns in Chinese medicine, right? So let's write out the, um, first of all, the yin organs in order basically of the back shoe so we as the back shoe lung pericardium heart now we're going to do a little bit of a switcheroo here so spleen then liver normally we do let's mark that so you are clear that that is not normal to do it that way right this is for the purposes of making it easy to remember and get these out okay the kidney now remember, there is also a gap through here. I mean, you can draw, I'll just draw it here. You don't, I don't actually normally draw this in so clearly because I just leave a gap there, right? But why do I do that? Because for the yang organs, even though the extremity points are all going to be jing well points, the order of the wuxing changes, right? And for the yang order organs, we start with metal and then we work towards autumn, winter, wood, fire, and earth. So when we're referring to the lower yang channels, we do jing, ying, shu, jing. This is consistent, however the element changes. So let's use the yang element, lung, large intestine. We're just using the opposite, pericardium. I put TE, triple energizer. I don't like SJ. Sanjiao, I like the term, but I don't like the abbreviation. It's too close to SI, which is the next one, right? Heart and then small intestine. Spleen, stomach, liver, gallbladder, and kidney. Well, we know it's the bladder. So you can put a note. You remember just the switcheroo here that we did. That matches the switcheroo up there. And now we're set. Let's go. Phone number. 
Remember, phone numbers go in Jing River column. Here. So, 8545547. Second number, 565 38, 60. Did you see that 41? It sticks out here, it sticks out here. So we can actually, let's circle these phone numbers just for the purposes of the video so you are clear and you can do this a number of times. Every day you should do this actually before the exam for at least a week until it's completely set in and you just get in the exam, you dump it out and you're good. Think about this. Now, once we have these this, the complicated phone numbers, the rest we're going to use our Chinese medicine background and knowledge, really, that's quite basic to fill in. So these he si points are always where? They're always on the elbow or the knee. These Jing Well points here are always on the extremities. I mean, I could put the fingertips and the tips of the toes, right? The extremities here. So let's go. Lung, what's on the elbow there? I mean, we know it's not on the knee, right? So lung 5, pericardium 3, heart 3, spleen 9, liver 8, kidney 10. Easy, right? Down here, large intestine 11. Big one, right? Triple energizer. Well, we know that on the elbow there, we also have this 10-8 combination, right? Triple as a 10 behind the olecranon, and 8 here, right? Small intestine. With the stomach, well, these are points close to the knee. They're big points, right? 36, 34, next door neighbors, right? Blood up 40 behind the knee. Yeah, sorry, I should make sure that these are all lined up correctly, but you get the drift here. Lung. Basically, remember, the first three Jing Ying Shu points on the channel are in fact the first three points on the channel. So from the extremity, for from the extremity we know, we have to know how many points are in the lung channel to know that. 11, 10, 9, pericardium, 9, 8, 7, heart, 9, 8, 7, spleen. From the end of the channel, well you know the end of the channel is 1, so it's just 1, 2, 3. We start these 1, 2, 3's. That is the yin channels complete. Large intestine, well, we know on the arm yang channels, they are also one, two, three, right? So these first three columns are very easy. From the stomach and the foot yang meridians, we know they start from the toes and they start at the last point on the channel, 45, 44, 43. Goldblood has 44 points, 43, and the one exception is already taken care of in the phone number, so we don't make a mistake, right? 67 channels in, 67 points in the bladder channel, right? 66, 65. There we go, we're done. Actually, once we have that out, what did it take us, five minutes or so? Get that out, we're ready to go, because, you know, the, po the questions in the exam, I mean, I'm referring to board exams in the U.S., like the NCCOAM, they'll give us um, um, a kind of description of a point. For example, um, oh, this is from Stonework on the weekend. Um, it'll be on between the fourth and fifth metatarsal, yeah? It'll be proximal to be the fourth metatarsal joint. And the point we know in our head is one, two, three, triple energizer three. So we know it's triple energizer three. And then the answers are, is it a Jing Well point? No. Is it a He Si point? No. Is it a reducing point? Well, it's a wood point on the fire channel. Or is it a reinforcing point? Yes, it's a reinforcing point. So, you know, the processing that has to go on, first of all, to get to the, the point and then think about whether it's reinforcing a wood point, a shoe point. You, there's so much information that even when you get that correct in your head, you'd go over it twice to make sure you got the answer right. In this case, you just bang, you got it. Boom. Next question. Right. Save your time. There's one other last thing that I do personally, just to put a little bit more information on this chart, and I know that sometimes there are questions related to that, is that um, entry and exit point. So I just put minus three for the stomach and gallbladder, the ones we switched over there. For the pericardium, I put minus one, the triple energizer. They're one down from the space. They're yin-yang partners. For the lung, I just remember it's minus four, and for the kidney, minus five. There are three points up here. There are three points up here. What does this tell me? This tells me the exit point of the channel. For example, gallbladder 44 minus 3 is gallbladder 41. That's the exit point. Stomach 45 minus 3 is 40, 
for stomach 42 that's the exit point of the channel this is just reminded to me what the exit point is the entry points of the meridian are fairly easy to remember because they're all ones yeah the first point in the channel is the entry point except for the large intestine which we do okay so we could also put a note here that large intestine entry point is large intestine 4 but that's pretty easy to remember in our head right so then these are the exit points Great, we've got the command points, the Jingwell points, you memorize it for the exam, you do that every day for a week, if not two weeks, it's fixed, you get in there, you dump it, boom, you're away, yeah? Save your time.